Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video because I'm going to be going in depth on how to highlight and contour. This is something that I haven't done yet on my channel. I've never like picked a technique and honed in on it and just taught you guys all the things that I know about a specific technique or product or whatever. So I'm super excited about this video and I'm especially excited because I'm partnering with Physicians Formula for this video. You guys know I love them, especially their butter bronzer. So when they wanted to partner up with me on a video, I was so excited and I just feel like it's such a natural collaboration for me because I already love them. So it's such an honor to be partnering with them on this video. So thank you to Physicians Formula. I'm gonna be showing you how I like to highlight and contour with the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Palettes. There's two different palettes. There's one that is the Shimmer Strobing Palette, which is a bunch of shimmery shades. And then there's this one, which is the Matte Sculpting Palette. So in this tutorial, I will show you how I use both of these palettes to achieve a nice contoured and highlighted makeup look, the one you see on my face right now. These are amazing palettes, especially for summertime because they're so affordable and the formula is amazing. So buttery and smooth, you guys. I really truly am obsessed with these palettes. So if you guys are interested in checking out either of those bronze booster palettes, they are available in stores at Rite Aid. So be sure to go to your local Rite Aid to check that out. So before we get into this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as always. Also make sure to hit the notification bell if you're already a subscriber so that you won't miss out every time I upload. Also stay tuned to the end of the video because there will be a giveaway. I'm so excited. So if you guys are interested in entering the giveaway at the end of the video, then be sure to stay tuned for that. If you guys want to see how I like to highlight and contour using the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Palettes, then just keep watching. Okay, so I already applied foundation and my brows. If you're interested in any products that I'm using, everything will be linked down below. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with concealer. Today I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer. I have mine in the shade Fair. I'm just going to pump one pump on the back of my hand. A little goes a long way with this concealer. Then I'm going to apply a little bit under my eyes with my ring finger. And the concealer comes with a little baby sponge. You guys know how much I've been loving small sponges for under the eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this to blend this out under the eyes I'm going to take the leftovers and just dot it on my chin Also, I'm going to put a little bit down the center of my nose and a little bit in the center of the face once everything looks really well blended and good to go, um, I'm going to go ahead and set the entire face lightly because we're going to be contouring and highlighting with a powder product. So setting the face will really help create that powdery base so that we don't get streaks as we highlight and contour. I'm going to be using the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the lid and then with a clean powder brush, I'm going to tap off the excess and just start to press that into the skin. The reason why I'm pressing is so that the foundation that we have underneath and the concealer as well doesn't move. We just go ahead and set it. So you're going to especially want to pay attention to the areas which we will be contouring and highlighting, which is the cheek area. You want to make sure that anywhere that you're putting powder to have that set with some powder. Cream highlight and contour would be a different story, but this is how we should prep for powder. Just going to lightly press them under the eyes. Just go ahead and keep packing that on the face until you feel like everything is pretty good and set. I'm taking some of the setting powder and just setting right directly under the eyes because that's where I tend to crease, but I'm not going to bake or anything any lower than that because we do have a highlighting powder that I will put there in a second. Okay, so now our face is ready for contour and highlight. We're going to start with contour. I'm going to go ahead and go into this Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Matte Sculpting Palette. This is amazing. It's so affordable and it's so buttery. You guys know I love this so this palette has like everything that you need for contouring and this shade especially is amazing so before we get into it I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about contouring and highlighting so it's really important with contouring and highlighting to be able to blend all the products seamlessly that way you don't have like sharp lines anywhere otherwise it's not going to look natural so as far as contouring goes you're gonna to want to pick a shade that is kind of gray toned and the reason for that is gray toned products mimic the natural shadows that are cast on your face, like in your cheekbones and on your jawline and other areas like that. If it's too warm, it's going to be too unnatural looking. Also, there's a difference between contouring and bronzing. Contouring is using an ashier color to kind of sculpt out the shape of the face, where bronzing is usually a little bit more warmer toned, and that's used to kind of give you more of a sun-kissed glow in the places that the sun naturally hits. So that's the difference between contouring and bronzing, and that's why you should be looking kind of for different products when it comes to contouring 
bronzing versus bronzing. So this is kind of awesome because you have a contour shade and a more bronzer shade in the same palette. So we're going to start out with the contour shade. This is a beautiful grayish toned shadowy shade. Do you see how ashy that looks? It's actually going to look really nice and natural on the skin. In order to get a really nice precise contour, tools are really important. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Sigma Extreme Structure Contour Brush. This is incredible for contouring the cheeks, especially because if your brush is too big, you're going to get a huge gray like splotch and you don't want to look muddy. If your brush is too small, on the other hand, sometimes it can be difficult to buff it out after you draw a thick line. So this is a perfect brush. I'm just going to dip this into here, tap off the excess. It's always easier to add more than it is to remove. So start with a little bit. I like to look straight on in the mirror and kind of see where the natural curvature of my cheekbones are. And keep in mind that natural shadows on the face are curved, so we're gonna wanna try to mimic that. So I'm just gonna look straight ahead, and it seems like it starts right about here. So I'm just gonna start to kind of draw that in. It's gonna be really subtle at first, but that's what we want. Much easier to build up, like I was saying before. Starting here and then coming around the cheeks, and I'm kind of curving it up. Do you see that? So the line itself is actually a little bit more of a curve. So that's what we have so far. Obviously Obviously, we're going to blend it out in a second, but if you want to do more, you totally can. I'm going to do a little bit more for the purpose of this video, but to me, that looks pretty good right now. Don't worry too much. If it's not perfect, we will be buffing all this out. So I'm going to do the same thing to this cheek. It also helps to suck in your cheeks if you don't know where exactly your cheekbones are. That will kind of help guide you, but don't forget to use a curved line when you're doing your contour on your cheeks. So after you kind of have a general idea of where your contour line is, you can kind of go back in and go over that a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit now and I'm going to pop it onto the temples actually. This is a trick that will help slim down your face a little bit. So I like to pop it a little bit right here making sure to blend it back into the hairline so that it's not just like a gray splotch there. Use a light hand. So the purpose of contouring is to kind of add dimension into the face. So if you saw before, my face was pretty blank. With the foundation, everything was one color. So when you contour and when you bronze and when you highlight, it brings back and emphasizes the different structures and shape in your face, which is really important to bring back into your face with a makeup look. So that's also where I like to put the ashy color. Another place that is really great is along the jawline. I like to start kind of right here. So I don't start all the way here, but I like most of the product to be about there. You can blend it back to the jawline if you want to, but for the most part, that's where I'm going to focus. The product is right here and then take the extras along the rest. So for the nose, I don't like to do like an Instagram chiseled nose. So I take a little bit of that ashy color. I'm tapping off a lot of the excess. We're going to start up here. Actually, you can see where the natural shadow is here going down the nose. So make sure there's a little bit of product on your brush. Start here and just loop your way down around the nose like that. Get a little bit more product on the brush, tap it off, and do the same thing on this side. Brushes really help for this as well. Oh, I kind of loop it around at the bottom like that. You can also take a little bit and put it right under the nose, and this will kind of help define and shorten the appearance of your nose. Brushes are really important for this entire technique, so I just used an, a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is the Sigma Diffused Crease Brush. It works perfectly for a nose contour. Now we're going to go ahead and hop into this shade right here. It's a really nice banana color which is going to help really brighten the areas that we want to look more bright and lifted on the face. I'm going to be taking this brush right here called the Soft Blend Concealer Brush from Sigma. We're going to dip this into that banana -y shade and I want the under eye area to really pop and be bright so I'm going to start by just pressing this. We're not going to wipe, we're just going to press this under the eye area and it's going to start slightly underneath the eye. I'm not going to bring it up to like the lash line, just right underneath, blending it down the cheek and kind of out this direction. Using a matte powder like this one will really help to make the under eye area bright and pop without being shimmery. And you can already see how much brighter that looks on the skin. I'm just going to put this where I put the concealer down here because the center of the face is what's naturally the most forward. So lighter colors essentially bring features forward where darker colors pull them back, which is why we want darker colors in the cheekbones to make your cheeks look thinner, where we want lighter colors down the center and under the
the eyes to bring those forward and make them look bright. That's what I'm kind of doing. I'm going to also press this on the forehead because that is naturally very prominent on the face. Also, of course, right here to be bright. And I'm just gonna put a little bit down the center of the nose, even though we will go in there with a shimmer highlight later, this will just kind of help define the overall look. You can also take it here and pat it along the jawline. So you can add that there if you want to. Also, I like to add a little bit out here. This is kind of a little trick that I don't see that many people talking about, but if you put a little bit of the highlight here, it makes your eyes look a little bit brighter. I really like this trick. Now that that looks pretty good, we've got the bright matte shade under the eyes. We've got the ashy contour shade. I'm just going to be taking my clean powder brush, the same one that we used with the translucent powder, and I'm just going to lightly brush over all the areas that we just contoured. This will kind of help diffuse the areas that we have harsher lines, and it will just kind of help everything blend seamlessly together. Just be gentle though, because you don't want to wipe away your hard work, but you do want to kind of make it all blend into the skin, so I find that this is a really good way to do that. Okay, so I feel like we have a really good basic shape to the face. You can always go back in and define it a little bit more if you want to. For me personally, this is plenty enough contour. I feel like my features are defined. So now what we're going to do is warm up the complexion a little bit and that's where this warmer shade comes in So I'm just going to be taking this shade and we're going to go in with a bronzer brush And this is where the bronzer will be applied where the Sun naturally hits So I'm going to start on the forehead area getting it into the hairline a little bit I do like to put a little bit of bronzer on the cheeks I go a little bit higher than where I put the contour just to kind of warm up that area a little bit. Also along the jawline a little bit and down the neck. So now to make that blend in, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder this time, run that over the areas where I just applied the bronzer. I feel like this is an awesome way to blend everything together. Just take a clean powder brush and blend it all together. That way you don't have any harsh lines because then your contour will be a little too obvious. Oh, I forgot to mention, I always love to put a little bit of contour, so I'm gonna take this middle shade here. I love to put a little bit under the lip right there because it makes my lips look a little bit more pouty. So I love to do that. So now you can just kind of look at the face, see if there's areas that you want to touch up a little bit. For me personally, I'm going to come in here with a little more of that banana shade and come closer to the nose to kind of help define that a little bit more. Just do any touch ups that you need to. Add a little bit more bronzer on this side. And I think that this looks good. This is my kind of contour and highlight. You can still see defined features, but it's not like, whoa, harsh lines anywhere just really nice shadows and especially when you look to the front you can really see the cheekbones and it's not too much now it's time for the shimmer highlighters I'm going to take the shimmery bronze booster palette this is the shimmer strobing palette for this product I'm going to go in with my Sigma tapered highlighter brush I love to mix these two for me personally this shade is too dark it won't work as a highlighter but I do like to use this as an eyeshadow so that's kind of nice no matter what skin tone you are if there's one shade that doesn't work very well for you you can always use it on your eyes or something like that so I'm gonna take this brush and kind of go back and forth between that tap off the extra and we're gonna to want to do a C shape here so this is where we're gonna really want to bring out the cheekbones so I'm gonna start really lightly making a C curvature around the brow down to the cheekbone again start with a little bit and build it up until you get the amount of highlighter that you want and we'll repeat the same thing on this side I mean do you guys see that it's Beautiful. I'm going to do the same thing and we're going to run just a tiny bit down the center of the nose Right there take a little bit and pop it on the cupid's bow This is called the cupid's bow by the way And if you want you can put a little bit on the chin I always like to dust a tiny bit here and here and now we are beautifully highlighted look at that Oh, these are insane. They're so buttery you guys. This is one of my favorite products from Physicians Formula. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the look now. I'm gonna go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Natural Glow. And if you're wondering, yes, they smell like the butter bronzer, which you guys know is like my all-time favorite bronzer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with a Sigma Large and Gold Contour Brush, and this is going to be my blush color today. So I'm just going to smile a little and apply it to the apples of the cheeks. I like to press it, that way we don't ruin our beautiful contour and highlight work, and then you can just build up color where you want it. This is a really beautiful, soft, subtle blush, and there is a little bit of like a gold glow in it, so it will make your cheeks look glowy, which I'm so into. I love 
love that. Isn't that so pretty? It's so natural. I love this blush. The cool thing about these palettes too is they're versatile, like I said, so I like to use it as eyeshadows as well. I'm going to go ahead and go into the matte palette. I'm going to take my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush and I'm just going to bounce back and forth between the two brown shades and use this as my eyeshadow color. I'm going to focus it in the crease first, blending it up and out, and then taking the extra on the lid. It's going to be a really simple eye makeup look. But essentially, we're contouring the crease of the eye as well. We want that to look more further back to help define that area a little bit more. I'm going to take a little bit, a tiny bit, and dust it under the eyes as well. Before we move any further, I'm just going to go ahead and set the entire face now, actually. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Setting Spray. And I feel like this step is important because we did use mostly powder products in order for it to kind of, first of all, last all day, but second of all, really sink into the skin and look even more natural, a setting spray will really, really help. And I'm just going to spray this all over the face and let it dry. And that will just make your contour look even more skin-like. Next, I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Argan wear mascara and just pop that on the top and bottom lashes. Dang it, I got some over here. You know the worst is, is when you're applying mascara and you have to sneeze and your mascara is still wet and you like sneeze like, I do, <laughs> trying not to ruin your entire face of makeup. That was a daily struggle for me. Okay, for finishing touches, I love to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. You can use the banana shade in the matte palette if you want. It will do the exact same thing, but I'm going to use the shimmer shade for an extra pop in the inner corner of the eyes. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mix these two shades right here and just pop this in the inner corner of the eye. I like to drag the excess on the lower lash line here for about like one third of the way along the lash line. Then I'm going to do the same thing just under the brow bone here, and that will just help make that pop a little more too. Last but not least, we're going to finish with a lip color. I'm going to go into the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Ziggy. This is a matte lipstick. I'm adding a little bit more blush. I'm going to take a little bit of blush and pop it just right here on the eyes. I love doing that. And there you have it. That's how I like to highlight and contour. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something about highlighting and contouring. Let me know in the comments down below if you did or if you have other highlight and contour tips that you'd want to share with me. I would love to hear your opinions as well. Once again, thank you so much to Physicians Formula for partnering with me on this video. I love them so much. They're amazing. And it's just like a dream come true to be working with them. So thank you, Physicians Formula. So now, without further ado, if you guys want to hear about the giveaway that I talked about in the beginning of the video, I will explain it to you or right now. So, Physicians Formula is just so kind. They want to do a giveaway. So they will be putting together $75 worth of Physicians Formula goodies for you guys. And that will include these highlight and contour palettes. So how awesome is that? You will also receive a $25 Rite Aid gift card. So super awesome. There will be one winner and this is only open to the US. So it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is make sure you're a subscriber of mine because of course I always like to give back to my subscribers. And also give Physicians Formula a follow on Instagram. I will link their Instagram down below. Make sure you're following them and then just make sure to comment down below and let me know that you have entered and then I will randomly select a winner from the comments on this video. If your username on Instagram is super different than your YouTube name, please make sure to put that in your comments somewhere so that way I know what your Instagram name is and I can verify that you follow Physicians Formula on Instagram as well. So the giveaway will start right now and it will end on June 17th at 11.59 Pacific standard time. So you have a little while to enter, but if you're interested in entering and you want to win some Physicians Formula goodies, then be sure to do so. Once again, I will put all the rules and stuff down below, so feel free to refer to that if you have any questions. Good luck to all those who enter the giveaway. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and yeah, I think that's everything. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe on your way out, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye!